flat ear student nurse. And for today's video, I will be showing you how to properly don the back technique. But before we hop onto that video, I would just like to show you the short clip for you to know what is the meaning of back technique, its purpose, and what are the materials that you will be needing or you will be needing to put inside the bag. So without other further ado, let's get started. So what is a bag technique? It is a tool by which the nurse, during her home visit, will enable her or him to perform a nursing procedure with ease and deafness. It is also an essential and indispensable equipment of a public health nurse which she has to carry along during her home visit. This is also to save time and effort with the end view of rendering effective nursing care to the clients. Let's move on to the common materials that you should put inside the bag. Upon arriving to the client's home, make sure to greet and introduce yourself to the family. Assess the client's need, establish rapport with the family members to promote cooperation, identify the client, and explain the procedure need to be done. After that, take the client's history. Then, ask the client if they have any flat surface like table, chest, or box, or if they don't have any of that, use the floor. Magandang araw po, ma'am. Ako po si Chantal Ati, ang inyo pong student nurse from Our Lady of Fatima University. Ngayon po, ma'am, magkakondak po ako ng home visit at bag technique po. So, mamaya po, i-explain ko ang procedure na gagawin ko sa inyo. Pero bago po yon, i-assess ko po muna kayo and kukunin ko din po ang inyong health history. So, ayos lang po ba yon ma'am? Okay po, maraming salamat, ma'am. So, Matanong ko lang po, no, meron po ba kayong flat surface like lamesa po, chest, or box na pwede ko pong paglagyan ng bag ko para makapag-start na po tayo sa bag technique? Okay po, ma'am. Ito na po yun, ma'am. Salamat po. Magsiset up lang po ako. Before putting the bag on the table, make sure to spread or put a paper lining, then the plastic lining. So the rationale for this is to prevent the bag from getting contaminated. The clean side or the inside is here while the outer part is touching the table. Then, bring out the plastic lining. Then, put on the bag on the left side. Make sure to put the straps underneath. to prevent contamination. Then, open the bag. And take out first, the hand towel, the soap dish, and the soap inside. Close the bag to prevent any contamination. Then do the hand washing. You can ask your client if they have a basin or drinking glass of water available. So you can use these materials for you to have the pouring method as a hand washing if they don't have any running water or tap water available. So hand washing is important before doing the procedure for you to not spread any infection or to prevent the spread of microorganisms from the health worker to her or to his client.
I am done doing my hand washing and I will be putting this one on the right side. After that, I will be opening my bag and take out my apron. And I will keep it close. Observe the proper technique. So apron is necessary because it will protect the nurse's uniform. After I put on my apron, I will be taking out or putting out all the necessary materials that I will be needing for this procedure. And I will be doing the Benedict's test. I will bring out all the necessary materials that I will be needing. Then, I will be closing the bag. For it to not be contaminated. Now this is my paper receptacle and I will just assemble it. I will put it on this part and I will now start with my procedure. After doing all the necessary care, make sure to clean the materials before putting it inside the bag. So this time, I will be using the cotton balls with the 70% solution of alcohol. I'm just gonna clean all the materials that I used and put it on the clean side of the paper. After giving the treatment, clean all the materials before putting it inside the bag. So the rationale for this is to prevent the spread of infection and also to protect the healthcare worker. After cleaning all the materials, you can now proceed on doing your hand washing once again. Now, I will be doing my hand washing. After doing the hand washing, I will also spray alcohol before putting all the materials inside the bag. I will now be removing my apron by observing the proper technique as well. But don't let your hand touch the outside of the apron. Remove your apron by folding it away from you. Remember, the clean side must be out and the soil side must be in. After that, put it in a plastic bag, then put it inside your bag. Close your bag. Then get the plastic lining and paper lining. Put it also inside the plastic bag. 
then throw it away. Record the visit accurately. Write down all the necessary things to know. The assessment, observation, as well as the nursing care and treatment done. For the last one, make an appointment for the next visit by writing the date and time. So that's it guys! Thank you so much for watching and see you again on my next vlog. Bye! Ask the client for a flat surface, chest box, or chest, or box, that <laughs> a wrap, and, then... <laughs> and put a paper light, paper lighting. Ask the client if they have any basin, 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 as in victory, what is it? for you to use in hand washing. This is Ano yung this is Okay po ma'am, thank you po. <laughs> yeah, asas ko mo po muna kay <laughs> Magandang araw po, ma'am. Ako po si Shanta Lati. Ay, ang inyo... <laughs> Ako po si Shanta Lati. Shanta Lati. Shanta Lati. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ako po si Shanta Lati. Shan ba Shanta? Ano ba yung... So, i-verify ko rin po. Oh, ba yan? Mali. Gagawin ko po ang Benedict's test. So, kita